hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me again so today's reading is all about the signs and the synchronicities that you are going to experience around the time when the right person your future spouse or your future long-term romantic partner is about to enter your life this reading was definitely meant to find you i haven't done a reading like this on my channel yet so i hope you guys are going to like it i also prepared a giveaway for you just to say thank you for you guys being here with me watching my channel supporting me and i haven't done a giveaway for a while now so i'm giving you an opportunity to win a 15 minute tarot session with me pre-recorded reading on any kind of topic that you want so it could be a romantic question it could be career question general question whatever you want and you can enter for free of course and i'll be telling you guys how to enter at the end of the reading that you will receive today so at the end of each group if after this reading you will feel like you want even more details or you would like to get a personalized reading you can book a personal reading with me the link is in the description box i've been doing private readings for a couple of years now and i've gathered quite a lot of positive reviews if you guys would like to check out these reviews before booking a session with me you can also see them on my calendly website okay without further ado let me show you the cards from up close Group one, Barnabas and the Prince. Group two, Gossamer Princess. And group three, Scared to Fly. All the timestamps are in the description box. Click on it and I'll see you in your reading. Hi, group one, you guys chose the Barnabas and the Prince, Adventures, Discovery, Travel and meeting destiny. Okay, so we're going to see what other cards you have, but it looks like you guys are going to be searching for something, searching for maybe meaning or searching for your life path. You are on a quest, that's how it feels. And I'm gonna have to come back to this card for sure because uh, I looked at the guidebook and there's this really cool, actually synchronistic, uh, text that I have to show you but let's see your other cards before we're going to dive deep into your reading so we have the riddle fisher divination seeking out and finding answers okay so the same kind of um adventurous vibe for sure let's see we have stardust premonition galactic communications beginnings and endings Wow, okay, so you guys are definitely, definitely are going to be like starting something new around that time and searching for answers. I don't know how to put it so you guys can all see it. So we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna be picking these cards up later so you guys can see them better. Um, so you're like on a search, soul search, connecting with the divine, connecting with the universe and actually you know putting more attention into this and putting putting more energy into trying to communicate with either your spirit guides with your uh guardian angels or with the universe in general or with god whatever you believe in whatever you practice but i feel like around that time you guys are becoming more self-aware and more also connected with the world with the universe with god whoever or whatever you connect uh, or you click the most with, okay? Let's see your tarot cards. So we have the Three of Cups, a friendship card. We have the Ace of Swords, okay? Yeah, I don't have a lot of space today for these cards. And we also have the World, wow. Literally, this is about ending the end of something and then you know what we're gonna check these extra cards at the end because i literally don't have space today for all of this okay so let me read to you what it says with the barnabas and the prince because when i was reading it i was like wow wow this synchronicity okay so it says seeking out a mate actively searching for a soulmate searching for you synchronicity 
In order for you to be in alignment with your dream, for your dream to dream you, you must be walking the right path and be in the right place at the right time. So this card reminds you that staying in your present comfort zone will not bring you, bring about that which in your heart you yearn for. You must become active and create. It also reminds you that travel and adventure can bring about soul growth that will let your song grow stronger. And it is in this way that your soul kind uh, can find you. Have no fear, the drought will be broken, but you must be an adventurer. What kind of synchronicities and science you guys are going to see group one in your life around the time when, when you are actually manifesting this person? So adventure, you're going on an adventure, you're starting something new and we can see that with the world, with the ace of swords, because the ace is always a beginning of something new. It's a new potential. We're going to get back to that. And also the world, the world is about the end of a cycle. So around the time you guys are literally finishing something you're finishing a big chapter uh, of your life of your story this could be for example finishing college or um, moving out for the first time or if you're a little bit older this could be maybe changing a job it's a major milestone that you are finishing and you are about to move to something new and you are ready and excited to go on this new adventure with this card. So around that time, I feel like you guys have more time to explore or you're giving yourself more time to find your true purpose or to find what you actually want to do for a living or to find where you want to live, what you want to do. You're giving yourself space around that time. And I think around that time also... Things are not 100% clear. You are not extremely like sure what path to follow. That's why you are trying things out. So that is going to be this first sign that you will see. Um, the end of a big chapter of your life with the world card. This also could be literally talking about moving somewhere across the country, across the world, um, or to like a different place in general maybe moving just to a different, uh, you know, location or apartment, house, etc. But you're ready to discover something new and you're giving yourself space for that. We have divination seeking out and finding answers. So this is suggesting a deep connection that you are forming around that time with your spirit guides, with your spirit team. Uh, with the universe so you might be getting more into tarot you might be getting more into astrology you might be getting more into divination any sort you're actively searching for answers kind of like searching for answers within but also like outside of you figuring out who you truly are and where you belong, where you feel like you belong with a three of cups. This is suggesting some new friend groups. And I think, you know, the people that we surround ourselves with is kind of who we actually are as well. So I think around that time, you guys are changing your friend group or you're readjusting something or you are maybe meeting new people that are going to become your really, really good friends. I see you changing your surroundings and still trying to figure out how to adjust to this new reality that you are building for yourself even though you're still not 100% sure like what you want from all of it and how you want to move forward how you want to approach it this feels group one like a huge transformation for you like transformation of you of your soul of how you feel like within but also transformation of your uh, surroundings, transformation of the place where you live and the people that you hang out with and the, the kind of daily routine that you have and in general also, as I was saying, within of who you are, of what you believe in and of your connection with yourself and the spirit or the universe or God. That's how I see it. We have this card, beginnings and endings, and I feel like it goes really well with the world card over here that I was mentioning, a big ending, ending of a chapter, ending of a cycle, and beginning of something new. Ace of Swords, so this is about thinking, this is about your mind, your thoughts, 
your ideas and your beliefs. Communication as well. Mm, but I think in this particular reading, this is all about you coming up with new ideas and changing the way that you think. So around a time when your person is about to enter your life, you're going to realize how much your mindset has shifted. That a month or two ago, you felt like a completely different person. Maybe you were looking at life and things in general in life from more pessimistic way, from more pessimistic side and with like a darker um, lens on or filter on, let's say. I think around this time, guys, things are pretty much blooming for you. You're feeling like you're really close to figuring out something. I don't know exactly what it is. Like I gave you a couple of examples. It just feels like you're going to feel like life is actually going really good for you, even though you're still not 100% sure like what you want to do. There are so many synchronicities around you that are showing you, that are proving to you every day at that time that things are going to be okay and that you are on the right path. Let's see these little cards that we have. Oh my god, look, we literally have friends. So something about your friends for sure. Changing a friend circle overall, like maybe just getting rid of some toxic friends. Uh, but it doesn't have to mean that you're no longer going to be friends with the people that you used to be friends for for a very long time. If you feel like the, the connection between you and your friends is healthy and it's good, it's not for you. I think this card uh, or particularly this message that I, I was having for you, that I was giving you, is for those of you that have friends that are a little bit questionable, let's just say. But either way, no matter if you are in a healthy friendships or not healthy friendships, I see a new friend entering your life or you being in a like a totally different friend group scenario. Uh, again, doesn't mean that you are going to ditch your old friends, but I just see you meeting new people and getting yourself in a different settings, kind of. Let's see what else we have. We have joy. Just like I told you guys, there's so much good things, so much good energy happening for you around that time. Even though life is still not figure it out, you know, you are feeling fantastic around that time and you're just enjoying your life. You're really loving your life. And we also have wish. Okay, so I feel like it's about your manifestation. I think you guys are actually going to make some sort of ritual or wish upon a star or make a wish in general, you know, set intention um, for something and you're going to see... I don't think it's going to be one thing, actually. I think it's going to be like chain of events that will make you question reality kind of because I think nothing like that ever happened to you before where whatever you set your intention to receive you get and it doesn't have to be you know all these like big wishes big dreams that you are suddenly going to manifest out of nowhere it might be like to give you an idea it could be um, let's say you think of something or you think of someone and the next day you see this person or you think of, uh, I don't know, a certain dog breed. I know this is random, but you think of a dog breed and then you go on a walk and you see that dog, you know? Something like that. Some sort of synchronicities like that that will be happening all around you around the time when your person is about to um, enter your life. And I actually think one of your wishes will come true. So there is a goal, there's a dream, um, there is a desire that you have that will come true around that time. And I think that's also why you're feeling so joyful. That's why you feel so happy and that's why you enjoy your life so much 
at that time, around that time when this person is about to enter. Okay, cool. So that's all that I have for you. Let me tell you group one about the giveaway before you go. In order to enter the giveaway, I want you guys to leave a flower emoji. And next to the flower emoji, I want you to tell me any kind of magical moment that happened in your life. And then what I mean by that is a synchronicity that might have happened, an intention that you set that happened weeks or you know days after a manifestation that you received or or some sort of a glitch matrix that uh, happened to you in your life I feel like all of us have this at least one story that was very odd took us by surprise and is a bit unexplainable so I want you guys to tell me that in the comments and leave that flower emoji so I will know that you want to enter the giveaway other than that thank you so much for being here don't forget to leave a like thank you so much for subscribing if you guys enjoyed this video I have plenty of the future spouse readings on my channel check out the playlist up here and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Group two, you guys chose this card, Gossamer, 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 I'm not sure, Princess, communication, relationship, work to be done. So for the first group, I laid all the cards out and then I started talking about it, but then I realized I don't have a lot of space. So let's talk about the card one by one, okay? So signs and syn synchronicities are group two, you guys are going to see around the time when your future spouse, your future uh, long-term partner is going to about to you know enter your life okay communication and relationship work to be done so around that time you guys are like done with some major milestone in romantic relationships and i see this as you either breaking up with someone or maybe someone broke up with you if that's the case i see you feeling healed feeling like the therapy really worked <laughs> Or maybe you didn't go to the therapy, but you feel healed. You feel like yourself. You feel independent. And you are definitely single around that time. Like you're not in a kind of any kind of dating situation um, or seeing anyone's situation. I see you being very independent and understanding the lessons that you had to learn and understanding where you made mistakes and previous relationships, what went wrong and how can you um, move forward, progress and make sure that this will never happen again. <laughs> like you are realizing around that time your worth and all the lessons that you learned from the previous relationships. And even though I feel like you, before that, you felt like your heart was shattered, you felt like you're not sure how you're going to move forward. You're not sure how you're going to like rebuild your life. You stayed strong and you, you know, re, how, how do you say that? Rewoven? Let's say recreated, okay? Recreated your web, just like the spider. At that moment, you're feeling like no matter what is going to come, what's going to happen, what kind of weather is going to come whether it will be rain storm or ice or burning sun the strands of your uh web will withstand so you're feeling much stronger group two and you feel like around that time like you did a really good job with ending things or getting out of the connection or healing from it let's see what else we have little boy blue blue Dreams come true, return of the soul. Interesting, I need to check this card quickly because I'm not really getting why it says return of the soul as in a new soul. Okay, an old soul has returned, okay. But just looking at the card, I feel like around that time there will be, a, there will be someone giving birth to a boy or a lot of your friends or family members will be getting pregnant and everyone will be finding out it's a boy. All right, it just says in the guidebook that this is a new incarnation, either of a new soul being brought in around you or your chance to be reborn. Oh, it's a chance to be reborn without passing, your chance to become a child again and be born anew without the physical return to the source this time. This new baby brings union. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, feeling reborn. So you're restarting something. 
I feel like around that time there has been like a massive change and it probably is because you ended a relationship or someone ended the relationship with you but either way you are you are probably getting out of a very long lasting relationship or a situation that truly stole all your energy and you feel like a newborn like a phoenix rising from the ashes we also have carry me home okay let me get up and see if you guys can see this card okay carry me home support time to be carried allow others to help definitely some sort of breakup again i don't think yeah, like you you will have to go through this healing time as well to find yourself, to find your uh, independence again and realize your self-worth. And I feel like it's going to be, you know, <laughs> you're gonna have to stop being fix a hoe. <laughs> you're gonna have to let go of the hero, of the hero complex, kind of. Because I feel like you were just too good. You were just too good to the people that don't deserve it. And you're learning to place the bet on you. To prioritize yourself, your feelings, your wants, your desires, not somebody else's. And this is what you're learning around the time. You know, these are the synchronicities. These are the signs that you're on the right path. You realizing that you put yourself first. You don't put the man or a woman or, you know, partner first. No, you put yourself first, okay? And this is what's happening. And this is what we have. Let's see what else we have. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So the luck is really going to be on your side around that time. And that is going to be the synchronicity that you can look for. When things are going to be aligning so easily for you. For example, you're going... You know, you have an important day. Let's say you have a job interview and everything is just right. You're driving to get there. You have green lights only in front of you. No one is moving slow on the road or the bus is on time. Everything is perfect. And you feel like everything is just going exactly how you imagined it. And things are going very smoothly for you that... You will even catch yourself thinking like, wow, how is this so easy? How is life so easy lately? And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is also about getting like a golden ticket. So you will get a golden opportunity around that time. It might be in your career, a job with a friend, um, or just anything random. You know, it definitely will be different for all of you, but it will be a great opportunity that will just fall from the sky. That's how it will feel. The luck is literally on your side around that time. We have the eight of wands. So this is about um, timing and it's about pace. And it might also be about moving. So you might be moving around that time, but I feel like the spirit is definitely focusing here more on how things are going very quickly for you around that time. You feel like the time is passing extremely, extremely quickly. It might also mean that you are very busy. That's why time is passing very quickly. There's an event after an event. You're constantly either seeing friends, going out, going to the gym, you know, going to work. Like you're constantly have your schedule filled up. And it feels good. I feel like you feel really good around that time. Yeah, with the sun for sure. So the sun is about happiness and joy. Feeling fulfilled and feeling satisfied with your life. We have kids here again. So I, I think this is literally a message of hearing the news of people around you getting pregnant. I don't think it's you, no, I don't think it's you. But people around you are telling you the news, sharing the news of getting pregnant. Let's see. Yeah, you have change. Falling leaves do not signify the end, but the beginning of a fruitful season. Wow. So there is definitely, as I was saying, a huge change happening in your life. And I do think it's in your romantic sector 
in your love life sector area we have adventure so you might be going on a lot of adventures around that time you might be feeling like life is an adventure now for you living wild and free it gives me this idea or vision of you previously being in a long-term relationship or always being kind of in relationships and now you are finally single and you're just enjoying your time and you're enjoying finding yourself and um experiencing life from a little bit different perspective from a perspective of being on your own being single not having someone to kind of like steer you certain way having a very individualistic approach to everything and it's very different for you so let's see we have resilient Stay as strong as evergreen trees. It just ties up really well with everything or to everything that I was saying at the beginning um, of this reading. You're strong and resilient and you are building your confidence and prioritizing yourself and realizing how much growth you have gained because of everything that you've been through. There's no victimizing, there's no blaming, there's no self-sabotage because you have grown a lot and you see that and you know that and this is literally the energy that will help you attract the right person into your life. Okay, group two, so that's all that I've got. If you would like to join the giveaway, here's what you gotta do. I want you to leave a flower emoji in the comments. And next to the flower emoji, I want you to tell me, describe to me, it might be in a very short sentence or feel free to write as much as you want. Something magical that happened to you. Something out of the ordinary, something that doesn't have any logical explanation and if nothing like that comes to your mind i'm sure there was at least one moment like that uh for example it could be a synchronicity of you maybe thinking of someone and then the next day seeing this person or as i was telling group one a uh, synchronicity of you for example thinking of a certain dog breed and then seeing someone walking that specific dog in the park or on your way home or any kind of manifestation uh anything that you have attracted anything that feels magical i'm sure that you guys have at least one story like that so let me know in the comments and thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for leaving likes it really helps out my channel a lot check out my other future spouse readings if you guys are interested or you can book a personal reading with me the link is in the description box i can focus on your specific energy i'll see you guys in my next one take care group two bye hey group three you guys chose the scared to fly the right moment sensing out the right timing and we have more cards for you that we are going to take a look at in a second so the synchronicities the signs that you will see when the right person your future spouse or uh future long-term romantic partner is going to enter your life the right moment sensing out the right timing i think that it's just telling us that around that time your intuition is going to be extremely on point everything that you will be sensing and feeling and things that you will not be able to explain like logically or reasonably is going to show up in your life and as i said you're not going to be able to explain the reason behind it why it happened how it happened you will have intuitive feeling that something is about to happen but you're supposed to either take a step back or you're supposed to get out of a certain situation or you're supposed to make certain move i think around that time you will see what things really truly don't fit into your life what changes you have to make and some people might look at you like you're crazy for making such assumptions without having like logical uh reason behind it or tangible reasons behind all of it but you will intuitively know so Again, your intuition is truly on point and you trust yourself and you trust your judgment around that time. Let's see other cards. 
So we have catch me, trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. Pretty much it looks like the fool from the tarot, stepping off the ledge, trusting that the universe will catch you, trusting that you have all the right tools, even though you might not see them yet. So I see that around that time, you guys are taking a pretty big leap of faith in your life. You are changing your life. You are readjusting to this new reality that you can't really see yet, but you're sensing it, you're feeling it. You might be just moving across the country or you might be changing a job. You might be leaving someone behind. You might be just taking a really big and bold step forward, really brave step forward. And some people might look at you foolishly thinking that you are insane. <laughs> Or just wondering why you're making such a big, bold step without, again, having these, like, logical reasons behind it. But something is hugely shifting in your life around that time. Let's see what else we have. We have fairy tales, letting go of detachment and moving on. Okay, so literally, you guys are leaving something or someone behind around that time. You are leaving some sort of toxic environment or connections and you're moving forward and you're just stepping into your own individual path. Your tarot cards are the chariot. Wow. <laughs> this is literally about moving forward and progressing and making bold steps forward, being motivated. So I see you guys being very motivated around that time as well to make the changes. This definitely can be connected with moving somewhere or actually purchasing a new vehicle, using new means or different means of transportation than you used to, than the one that you used to, and getting out of some sort of toxic cycle that you've been repeating for a long, long time with someone or with something. You're stepping into a new different energy. We have the nine of cups, which is a card of wishes coming true, your desires, wish fulfillment and uh, setting your desires, setting your wishes. So I see around that time you guys are following that. You guys are stepping into the energy of attracting more of that and manifesting more of these hard desires into your life so you're no longer just thinking about it you are taking practical steps towards it so if there is a wish there is a dream there is a goal that you have i see that around this time one of these synchronicities or one of the signs actually one of the signs will be the fact that you will be pursuing something that you've been thinking about pursuing for for some time this could be anything ranging from a job career change, following a hobby, finally going to a class that you always wanted to go to, finally maybe purchasing, uh, what, I don't know, roller skates and starting roller skating, finally taking a course that you've been thinking about taking or uh, going to some sort of class, etc. So that's going to be one of the signs as well that you will see that you are in this kind of energy. And a lot of things and words here are repeating for you. So these are your synchronicities as well, group three. I think you might be seeing a lot of like things doubling or tripling, especially also with these two horses here. Like you are seeing two of the same things or you're getting two of the same maybe offers or things are just doubling for you and next card for you is page of cups okay so i think you are going to be feeling really romantic around that time um like um like a hopeless romantic vibe that i'm getting from this someone that is seeing the live connections relationships through uh, a love lens through a romantic lens 
You actually might be watching a lot of romantic shows around that time, thinking a lot about love and romance and your future spouse or your future partner, romanticizing things. Oh, this might be about romanticizing life as well. But you are in this very romantic, delicate, feminine, artistic, creative energy around that time. And I think you actually might have a lot of people being interested in you. Maybe not literally dating, but you see that you have a lot of admirers in your life. Or people might be just complimenting you a lot around that time. We have time. Embrace in the dew drops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. So this might be about the time moving really fast or very slow for you. We also have let go. So pretty much connecting with the previous card that we had, the oracle card of you moving on, moving forward, letting go of something or somehow someone that you've been holding on too tightly for too long. We also have the night. Okay, so it might be around the time when you have a hard time falling asleep or your sleeping schedule um, is changing a little bit. Not even a little. I just see you having a different sleeping schedule either because you have a hard time falling asleep, insomnia, or maybe you have to change your sleeping schedule. Maybe you start working at different hours or you have some extra work or something that you want to or a creative endeavor that you want to put more time into during the evenings etc and then you know your uh day is just getting longer and longer and you end up going to sleep at like 1 a.m <laughs> So your sleep schedule might definitely change around that time and you might be feeling more drawn to doing things at night rather than doing them uh, in the morning or during the day in general. So that's what I have for you group three. Thanks so much for watching and if you would like to join the giveaway let me tell you right now what to do. I want you to leave in the comment section a flower emoji. Next to the flower emoji I want you to tell me it might be one short sentence or feel free to write as much as you want i want you to tell me a magical moment that happened to you any kind of synchronicities that you've been experiencing in the past any kind of sign that you got from the universe anything that you thought is out of the ordinary unexplainable and must have been sent by the universe or god or uh, your spirit guides, whatever or whoever you believe in. Something that feels truly magical. I feel like at least once in our life something like that happened to all of us. And since you got here and you're on my channel, I'm pretty sure that you have at least one synchronicity like that happened to you as well. So thanks so much group three for watching. Thank you so much for leaving likes and subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Feel free to check out one of my other future spouse readings if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.